Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. So tonight is going to be the grind of the century. I'm in summer school right now, I'm taking two courses and I have a ton of stuff to do. I have no idea how much we're gonna get done, I have no idea how long we're gonna stay, but it is gonna be an absolute spectacle. So there's like two reflections, a lab report, another report. I'm not gonna do all that tonight, but I'm gonna bang off a good amount of that off the list. First thing I'll do is that report. It's a report on a bonus assignment that I'm doing for my digital systems class. So what we have to do is, a, is design a logic calculator. So here's where I'm at right now. Just got the two numbers here. So these are gonna be the two inputs. Now I just have to figure out how to build that system. And just like that, it's 11, 12. We got the circuit done. It's gonna take in our two inputs here. This is the multiplexer right here, which is going to decide which of these is going to be used. There's gonna be eight outputs, which will make the new 8-bit binary number. We just have to assign each of the inputs a pin and each of the outputs an LED. And that should be it. But first, we just have to compile it. And if it compiles, then it means Everything is perfect, everything works. So uh, definitely not successful here. Should just be like a naming convention issue though. Let me uh, fix that and recompile. Well, there's some error here that I, I'm still getting saying that all these gates are overlapping but they don't even exist in my block flow diagram. So I don't really know what's up with that. I'll have to figure that out. But it's 11.43 and I just remembered I have those two reflections due at 11.59. So let me just do those first real quick. And there we go, typed up the little reflection at the right on flip-flop time. So that's done. Now back to trying to solve this error. Bro, you can make this shit up. Okay, so it says there's an AND 45 that overlaps another block. And I'm like, it can't do any of the following because like it doesn't exist. So then I'm like, maybe it's just like hiding under a gate. I don't know how, but maybe. Bruh. So I lift this gate up, I move it over, and AND45 is hiding underneath. Should be good now. Let me just run the compilation. And there we go, let's go. Compilation successful. Now what we're doing is we're just working on the report here. And then I'm gonna assign the pins for the circuit board. And that should be good for this project. I'm so close to finishing. I've pretty much done the whole report. I'm just gonna do one final test and then take a screenshot of the test, put it into the report, and that's it, going home. All right, it's just after three now. We are done for the evening. So we finished the report here. Logic calculator report. So we did all this tonight. And then we got the whole entire project here, the whole logic calculator done. Successful grind. Now it's time to go home.